Welcome back to week 30 of my 52 frames journey. In this week, I have to photograph the very broad topic of water. After my previous two weeks of indoor photos at home, I was ready to head out a little bit. Thus, I had to come up with a place that's outside of my house, but still indoors with air conditioning and should contain the element water. Maybe even a few million liters of it. Obviously, an aquarium came to mind. Now, I only had to decide on which aquarium I wanted to go for, since I was spoiled for choice in the UAE. My four criteria I used to weigh up my options were driving distance, entrance fee, camera friendly, and crowds. Although the Sasha Aquarium were the least favorite, least popular, least touristy, and least impressive that the UAE's got to offer, it gave me exactly what I needed for my photo this week. But the thing is, I didn't want to go to the aquarium and take typical aquarium looking photos. I wanted to create something that looks like it was either taken underwater or with an artistic eye. Okay, so I'm just quickly packing my bag. We're going to the aquarium, which I'm quite excited about. Um, I'm only taking three lenses. I know three lenses, but it's my three F 2.8 lenses because uh, I'm probably going to shoot wide open because of the low light conditions. And um, the thing that I know is well known in aquariums is reflection. So the two ways I'm going to try to work around that is my polarizer filter. That might be a problem because it takes more light out of the photo, so I'll have to boost my ISO a bit more. But the other thing I'm uh, packing, which I normally doesn't really, because I'm not a, a big fan of using them, is the lens hood to try and reduce the reflections. Obviously, extra batteries and just my strap for walk around to make it a bit easier. So I'm just gonna pack all of this now. honest, the photos taken there were a lot harder than I initially thought. My initial thought was that reflections were going to be my biggest issue, and it was to some extent. But my biggest frustration and struggle was focus. It was an absolute nightmare. The focus felt nearly impossible at times with the curved and scratched glass of the tanks. The unpredictability of the fish moving around and then the distortion created by the water inside of the tanks. All of this really tested my focusing skills.
eventually just ended up using my macro lens and manual focusing. For the slower moving fish, I went for a sharp looking photo which I would then create into a high contrast black and white photo afterwards. For the faster moving fish and with their unpredictability, I thought I'll just embrace it. I couldn't shoot fast shutter speed in any case because of the low light capabilities. Thus, I went for the arty farty long exposures. My fish long exposures weren't my favourite long exposures I've taken thus far, but it was still a fun experiment and exercise to play around with. Thus, I ended up using my sharp, high contrast black and white photo for my submission this week. The Social Aquarium really isn't on the top of my list of to-do things in the UAE. I do think we've got a lot better aquariums out there. But it provided me exactly what I wanted. Low cost, minimum crowds. I think we saw two families passing around so I could really take my time with those photos. And I was fairly happy with the photo I ended up with. I told Tashis I only need one photo fill this week but ended up editing more than one which is usually a good sign. Next week is all about distortion. Thank you for watching and see you then.